Today you will learn how to create white outlines around your transparent background PNG images. All of the images that you uh, will see in this tutorial are available at my Etsy shop, Omar Toro. So just go there and search for Omar Toro and you'll be able to get these images. Um, these are stickers for your Cricut machines. And if you want to get them, just go there and visit. Now, sometimes when you download a uh, transparent background of PNG images from sites or like this one, for example, they have a, a lot of detail around and your machine won't read those details correctly and won't be able to cut correctly around that image. So what I like to do always is create a white outline um, for my machine to be able to cut those stickers easily. Um, here is the white outlined image. Let's compare it to the other one, uh, side to side, and there you go. This is what we will be creating today. We will use uh, Photoshop and also a free online software to create our white outlines. One is easier than the other one, but you can pick yours if you have not Photoshop installed on your machine. So let's jump into Photoshop and open our file, our PNG transparent background file. And when you open it, you will see that you have a top layer with your image and a transparent background. Um, what I'd like to make sure always is that your image is not touching the edges and that you have enough space to create that white outline around. So make sure to change the canvas size for your image. And in this case, I'm going to use pixels and let's change it to about 200 pixels larger. So let's do 1000 pixels wide by um, 1000 pixels tall. So now we have enough space around our image to create the white outline. <clears throat> Next, we will create a new layer underneath that top layer. Um, I always like to create a new layer with a contrasting color so I can see the edges of my image and the edges of the white outline that I'm creating. So let's just select a light blue color um, for the background color and selecting your um, bottommost layer, press a control or command if you're on a Mac, backspace that will fill that layer with a color, the background color. And now you can see the edges and you will see the outline that we will create better. Now there are two ways you can create white outlines in Photoshop. One uses the blending options for your layer. And for that, um, right click on the layer name and go to blending options. And once they open, click on stroke and determine the size of the stroke that you want. Um, there you go. If you're happy with it, make sure the color is white if you want a white outline or if um, you want a different color outline, just set it right here. Make sure the um, opacity is set to 100 so it's uh, completely opaque and uh, click on OK. What I don't like about this method is that it creates white outlines with very sharp edges and sometimes if your images have like these little, little hairs that you see here um, it creates sort of a weird edge and if your image is very textured it, it also creates this very jagged outline so I don't like to use that method too much I rather create a new layer underneath that one um, so hold control or command and create a new layer underneath your object layer and fill that layer with white. Select background color to white and press control backspace or command backspace if you're in a Mac and that will, will create a um, white layer underneath your object layer. Next we need to select our object and to do that hold control or command and click on your objects icon and as you can see Photoshop has created a selection around your object 
make that selection larger to the desired amount. So go to Select, Modify, Expand, and depending on the size of your image, just adjust the number of pixels that you're expanding your selection by. Um, in my case, I'm going to use 20 pixels. And I think that's good enough. But as you can see, because of the edges uh, of my image are very textured, the outline in the selection is not very smooth, and it has these uh, jagged edges and very sharp points that your machine will not read correctly. And I like to make that selection smoother. So let's uh, refine that selection. And with your um, middle layer selected, go to Select, Select and Mask, and that will open a new set of commands right here. I always like to use the overlay view mode here. It's a, you know, a lot better. It allows me to see the edge better. And for this, what we are going to use is um, make sure the opacity, set the opacity to a little bit higher so you can see the contours better. And set the radius to zero pixels. Set the smooth to 100 the feather to zero, keep it to zero, and the contrast amp it up to 100% also. That will give you a very sharp line around. If you don't use the contrast and you leave it to zero, as you can see, the edges are kind of fuzzy and your machine will not read them correctly. So by um, amping up the contrast, you will get very sharp edges and you will only have to do minor adjustments. Now, if you want to shift the edge, if you feel that the line is too close to your image, just um, uh, shift the edge to 100 and keep it negative if you want your um, edge to be closer to your image. Um, depending on the size of your image, you won't see much change in for those uh, very large images. Um, so maybe um, the shift edge will not be necessary for you. If you're happy with the result, just click on OK. And as you can see, we have here a selection around our object. Now with your um, layer, with your uh, middle layer selected, create a new layer mask. By clicking the new layers mask icon down here. Click a new layer mask and it will create a mask around that white layer that uh, follows the edges of your image. If you want to adjust this um, white outline and you want to make it uh, larger in some parts or in others, um, like here for example, that the white outline is very close to that hair, what you can do is edit the mask. Do not edit the layer underneath, but edit the mask. Um, so with your mask selected, just a click on the layer mask right here, select your brush tool, and make sure you're using a 100% hard brush, round brush. Um, adjust the size of your brush if you want to, and you are going to paint with white if you want to reveal that layer underneath, and you want to paint with white as a foreground color, with black, I'm sorry, if, if, or the foreground color, if you want to hide that mask. So change to white, by pressing X you will change to the white foreground color and reveal that mask if you want to um, expose more of that layer underneath that mask. If you are happy with the result, let's see, I want to um, adjust this edge right here because I don't like it. My machine will go in and then it's a long path to go to. So select your um, brush tool or press B on your keyboard and just paint around that to expose the layer underneath and make it a smoother path for your machine to follow. If you are happy with those, uh, with that result, just um, hide the layer underneath 
and go to file, save as, make sure you save as a transparent background PNG file, select um, PNG from the drop down list and change the name of the file to white outline and click on save. Um, I always like to save my files as a small file because they are easier to uh, load and design space. And there you go. That's the way you create white outlines for your PNG transparent background images in new Photoshop. So if you don't have Photoshop installed on your computer, you can always use a free software online that is called Pixel R. Um, just type pixelr.com on your search box and hit enter. That is pixlr.com, and that will take you to the page of the uh, free online editor. Just uh, scroll down and select the Pixel Editor Launch Web App. Um, and what you want to do is open an image from your computer. In this case, we're going to use this image, navigate to the folder where your image is stored, and select it. Now, remember, we need to uh, create a background or a canvas size that is large enough to hold our um, white outline. So for that, let's go to Image, go to Canvas Size, make sure to anchor your image to the center, and change your image to about 200 pixels. Um, to make your image about 200 pixels larger than your original image. Click on OK, and now we have a background that is, or, or a canvas that is large enough for our uh, white outline to be placed. Now, there is no way to um, modify a selection on, um, on this editor as easy as it is in Photoshop, so let's play with a layer style. We will hit Layer Styles. We have um, the Outer Glow option, so click there. And make sure the Opacity is set to 100, the Hardness is set to 10, and the Size is set to whatever um, size outline you want. Just make sure to make that just a little bit larger than what you want it, because in the next step it will get a little bit smaller. So click on OK, and that will set the um, glow around your image. And because it's a glow, the edges are not that sharp, and we want them to be as sharp as we can get them. So, for that, we will create a new layer, and we will put that layer underneath our top layer. Now, select your top layer or your object layer and right click and click on and select merge visible. As you can see it created a much smaller white outline around our image that is a little bit sharper than the other one. So repeat that step, um, create a new uh, outer glow, make sure that it is set to one, uh, 100 opacity and a, 10, uh, a hardness of 10 and make sure the size is whatever size you want it to be and that is also a little bit larger than what you want it to be and click on OK. Next we'll we will create a new layer, place that layer underneath our optic layer, right click on our top layer and select merge visible. And we will do that one more time. Layer styles, outer glow, Opacity 100, Hardness 10, and Size, let's put it, let's just leave it at 4 because I'm happy with the, the way this looks. So just click on OK, and we are done. Go to File, Save, remember um, to change the name of the file, or name it White Outline. And it's a PNG transparent full quality image. Click on OK and save it to my outline. And there you go. Now, just like in Photoshop, you can always uh, create a new layer underneath your uh, main layer or your optic layer and place it behind 
and um, you can uh, draw around your object with a pen tool or with a brush tool. Just make sure your brush tool is set to hard and that your diameter is um, big enough for your image and set the spacing to 1 and the hardness to 100. So with your uh, bottom layer selected, just start painting painting with white. Make sure you select the white color and just start painting around your image to create that white outline. It doesn't matter if you uh, make it uh, very accurate. It's just a white outline for your machine to cut. And it is also easier for you, uh, the software to read around this uh, white outline. Now this will always create a more um, of an organic background. You can always do this also in Photoshop if you if you don't feel like creating a new layer underneath and painting and selecting and doing all that masking. Um, and so with both layers um, ready, just go to File and Save and change the name to white outline and sorry um white outline two and click on OK. Save. Very good. Now here are all three images that we created. The one on the left was created with the Pixel R online editor using the layer style method. The one in the middle was created also with the Pixel R online editor using the brush tool method, painting on a layer underneath our object layer. And the one on the right was automatically created with Photoshop using the selection method. You can always use the method in the center in Photoshop and create a new layer underneath your object layer and paint with your brush tool with a white color. And this will give you a more of an organic uh, white outline. With all the methods shown, you will get the same result, and your design space software shouldn't have any problem reading around your image and cutting easily. I really hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell next to the subscribe button to be notified when a new video is uploaded. Here are two more videos that you could be interested in. Remember and hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you again very soon. Bye-bye.